Alright, here it is guys. Four things you need to know. I don't care if you're pastor in the church, if you're in real estate, whatever it is. The four, four things you need to familiarize yourself with. Number one, you have a task management. All the time you have something to do. How do you manage your tasks in order to get them accomplished? Uh, you have appointments. Maybe you got an appointment down at the bank or whatever. You've got to have a way to manage and not forget your appointments. Information. You got a utility bill come in. You laid it down. Your wife moved it. How do you know when you want to pay that utility bill? If it gets lost, how do you know how to pay it? Okay. That's information. You need to have an account number on a utility bill. Is that correct? I think so. Task or say you got a, your wife said so-and-so call. How do you manage your task? If you don't feel like doing it right then, you have to schedule your task in order to manage it, okay? And then another thing you'll need is a checklist. If you're doing repetitious work or you're dealing with assistance that come and go, uh, you know, maybe you have one there for two years and then you're planning on being around a couple of years, you might want to have checklists made out on how you want them to assimilate their job, okay? So for task, the app I use for that is the number two do, okay? For appointments, for my calendar, I use Calengu, Calengu, C-A-L-E-N-G-O-O-O. And for my information system, I use Evernote, E-V-E-R-N-O-T-E, -E. okay? And then I build my checklist in Evernote because Evernote is my information manager filing system. I can take a snapshot on my phone with my Evernote, and it'll go right into Evernote. Then all I have to do is tag it. Like if I got a receipt or a bill, I can take a snapshot, tag it with what that bill or receipt has to do with. Then if I tag my utility bill with my address, where I live at 2400 North Brady, then automatically I type in 2400 North Brady in my search in Evernote. Bam, what do I got? I got a utility bill that pops up. I got an account number. That way I can pay my utility bill or go online and check what my utility bill is because when you go to the website, what do you need? You need an account number. The main thing is to set yourself up for life. In life, you're going to have tasks. You're going to have appointments. Eventually, you can switch that to do over where you just start scheduling your time on the Calendu. Calendu, what is so great about Calendu is, is if you do, say I want to schedule what time I get out of bed in the morning. Wake up time, 4 a.m. If that's my wake up time, the time I want to get up, guess what? I can hit wake up time, 4 a.m., schedule the 4 a.m. wake up time, that thing will beep me every morning at 4 a.m. if my cell phone's laying in my bedroom, okay? The next thing uh, I want to do, you know, I just schedule everything. I don't care what it is. If I got to feed the cat in the morning, I'm going to feed them it. I'm going to be up 10 or 15 minutes, wake 10 or 15 minutes before I feed the cat. So I'll schedule the cat. And it'll beep me so I don't forget to feed the cat, okay? Stuff like that. If you got a phone call and you need, say someone called you, you need to call them back. You can schedule that on your Calendu app, schedule it for like three minutes. Guess what? It will beep you to let you know to call those people. You need to develop your habits that forces you to stay on track. Calendu is a good appointment setting tool 
You can schedule your task in Calendu when you got time. If it's not that an appointment, uh, an important task that you got scheduled in Calendu and something comes up and you got to move it, you can always delete it and reschedule it at a different time or move it to a different time. Okay. Calendu is a great app for uh, keeping track of it. Plus, it syncs with Google. Evernote uh, is good on your Android. It'll be on your phone. It'll be on, it'll be on your computer. The to-do will work with your iPad and your phone. And then in Evernote, uh, what I like about Evernote, it's the information manager, but also it's got a feature in Evernote where you can talk instead of type. So if you want to make a note in Evernote, tag it, you can talk into Evernote. Uh, if you have something that needs typed up, you can use Evernote, speak into Evernote. It will type it up for you, okay? It converts speech to text. That's a good feature. Uh, if you've got to send out a letter to the tenant, guess what? You can dictate it right in Evernote, click and print, and you got a letter to send to your tenant, and all you got to do is sign it when you're done. Okay, uh, there's just a number of things as far as I've determined that you need. Uh, you know, you got to schedule your tasks, schedule your appointments in Calendu. Calendu syncs to your phone, uh, and it's it's good because it'll beep you all day, keep you on track. Where to put your paperwork where you can't find it? If you just snapshot it with your phone, right into Evernote tag it you've always got a copy of it i mean naturally you got a place you keep your paperwork but it's always good to have a copy if you need a purchase agreement guess what if you snapshot that thing and had it in evernote then you can go into evernote and edit it fill it out the way you wanted to buy a house or whatever these tasks are very important to do that's your task system Calendu. That is your calendar for appointments. On Evernote, that's your information management system. And don't forget to build checklists on things that you need to retrain others on. That way, you can hand them the checklist and they'll train them. Okay? Or you could do YouTube on your computer and just give them a YouTube link to play to train them. However you want to train them. But it's good to have a system that way you can read, go over everything, and not have to keep wasting your time. Because, you know, the only thing we've got on earth is time. Okay? If we don't get control of our time, guess what? We're, we're not going to be fulfilled. We're not going to be doing the things we want to do because we're busy doing stuff Hunt like hunting for paperwork. If we need to get informed on using Evernote to keep track of our paperwork, take a snapshot in it. That way, if you ever lose a piece of paper, guess what? All you have to do is go to Evernote and print it back out. This is my short YouTube on four pillars of things you need for real estate to get organized, okay? If you need help with this area, got any questions, give me a call, 765-896-9410. Thanks. Bye.